Hello, everybody, and welcome to Starnet Link. And today I thought we would go ahead and talk about um, spiritual warfare, the topic, this discussion that we're going to be start talking about this year. Um, I do want to recap and maybe clarify a few things. Spiritual warfare can mean a lot of different mean many different things to many different people. But what really, really boils down to is that spiritual warfare can be the information that you get along your spiritual journey that can be confusing, conflicting, and basically derail your entire spiritual journey, your spiritual truth, and basically derail your personal and experiences. I have been derailed by people with my experiences, and I have been de been derailed by information and other spiritual concepts that I have come across during my spiritual journey. I thought that for people who are first starting out in the spiritual community and spiritual um, and the Sarsi community, um, need to know about these things and also be aware, be aware of scams, fear propaganda, propaganda in general, and basically help people to stay away from UFO cults, spiritual cults, and um, also UFO religions that people have believed. There have been instances where people's entire careers, personal lives have been destroyed by these cults and religions that people have created over the years. And by learning about them by topic by topic and subject by subject, we can better understand like what's really going on. The first thing that we are going to discuss is channeling. Um, there are three channelers that have been around for more than 40 plus years on this planet. Um, the first channeling person or being is known as Ashtar Command. The second is um, Kragon, which we started talking about in my earlier videos with the connection to indigo children and adults. And then lastly is Bizarre. Bizarre. These beings have been around for more than 40 plus years on this planet. But what is really, really interesting is to hear the overlay and connection between the information between these two beings. There's also conflict and controversy around whether or not these beings are real or not, or if these people are faking, which we will be discussing as well. But the one thing that really perplexes me and a question that I want it to sit with you is that if these beings have been on this planet for more than 40 plus years, why have not have they not communicated with each other or talked about each other in their channeling sessions to their audience? Why have they not come together in a unified front together and acknowledge each other's existence if they've been around on this planet for 40 plus years? So it's kind of interesting to gauge more intellect and a new perception in the way that things are. Also, I do want to also know that this isn't a thing to bash or to um, cause negativity. It's just a thing to like question what's really going on, but also to not to confirm or start any rumors or conspiracies but some of the stuff that is connected around these channeling beings is also connected to some conspiracy theories in the sacred space program. So it's really interesting to dive deep into these topics discussions, but we're going to take it one step at a time and not to overload people who have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. And also for people who probably been around a long time might actually understand a little bit more about these beings that they have not discovered or learned about be and beforehand. I think it's really, really good and interesting to talk about these and have an open discussion about them. But also the reason why I want to talk about these is because even though these beings give wonderful insight and spiritual knowledge and stuff, 
But the reality is, can they be trusted? Can we really trust what they're saying? And I will I'll explain a little bit more about this in my upcoming videos when I post them. But I do want to thank you, everybody, for continuing listening to my videos. Please like, subscribe, or share my videos to other people who might like them. And thank you so much for listening.